Hey guys, Todd from Roadrunner Sports here. Today I'm reviewing the Brooks Hyperion Tempo. And wow, what an awesome shoe. Uh, really excited to talk all about it and uh, give you my review. So first things first, uh, I gotta let you know, I have minimal miles on this shoe. So I've only run about seven miles on this so far, over two runs. Uh, but definitely uh, have focused on some of the faster stuff and you know wanting to compare it to some of the other shoes uh, from some other brands that compete with this shoe. So this is Brooks, you know, uh, lightweight trainer. I would even call it more of a racing type shoe. Uh, I think this is a, a perfect shoe to race half marathon, 10K type distance in. Um, but they, you know, they consider it a training shoe. So this is not to be confused with the Brooks Hyperion Elite which is their shoe that they uh, released right around uh, the Olympic trials this year, uh, the US Olympic trials, and that shoe has a carbon plate. This shoe does not. Um, so don't get the two confused. This is, you know, Brooks trainer shoe uh, for your fast days. And they really consider that Hyperion Elite more of, uh, you know, the race day shoe. I think for a lot of people, uh, your average runner, uh, even to your, you know, uh, more serious runner, uh, this is probably something that you could race in and be very, very happy with. Uh, <clears throat> but again, uh, they consider this more of the uh, lightweight trainer or light um, uh, trainer predecessor to that uh, Hyperion Elite. So uh, let's talk a little bit about some of the specs of the shoe here. So a few things, uh, very, very lightweight. This shoe comes in at 7.3 ounces for a men's size nine. Uh, on the foot, it felt light and you kind of knew when you put it on, okay, I, I can go fast. And, and that's a really good feeling to have in any shoe that you put on, uh, but definitely felt that in this one. Uh, <clears throat> kind of normal on the drop, so it's eight millimeter drop, heel to toe. Um, <clears throat> again, I think the, from a ride perspective, it felt really good. We'll talk a little bit more about that here in a, in a few minutes. <clears throat> I think uh, as I talk about this shoe, a couple things uh, stood out. So um, one, it's it's a simple shoe. They're not trying to do too much with it, but the things that they have done with it, I think they've done really well. From a uh, from a fit perspective, it fits. I would say maybe a little bit more on the narrow side. Uh, it certainly uh, did not was not wide. My foot tends to be a little bit on the wider side, um, so I you know I felt a little narrow in it, but. Uh, they, the upper that they use, it's very flexible. You know, as I put my hand in here, you know, it def I don't know if you can see it here, but it definitely has movement. So I never felt like overly constricted. They don't use any overlays here on the top. So I uh, didn't feel like there was any hot spots or anything like that. So even again, my foot a little bit on the wider side, this I would say is a little bit narrow fit. I didn't have any problems with it. So I think for most people, that's gonna be a really good thing. Very, very flexible. Again, we talk about ride, that heel to toe off transition. This thing flexed really well. They use this um, uh, nitrogen infused DNA flash midsole and uh, it felt very responsive, uh, very cushioned. Uh, overall, I, I thought for you know how light this shoe is, you're getting a lot of cushioning out of it. Now, I'm a little bit on the bigger side. Um, I don't think uh, that I'm gonna get more than a couple hundred miles, maybe 250 out of this shoe, maybe a little bit more. Um, but I really view this, for most people, this is not a shoe that's gonna be your everyday workhorse. This is, I know today I'm gonna go fast, I'm gonna get a tempo run in, um, I've got a speed workout on the track, this is kind of my go-to shoe for something like that. Or again, I've got a half marathon that I'm gonna race. Um, this is not something, for me anyways, that would be an everyday workhorse type shoe. Uh, I think there's better uses uh, for the shoe than that. Uh, a couple other things uh, that I would note, heel fit was really, really uh, good. Um, the lacing system was okay. I, you know, I felt like uh, I couldn't necessarily really tighten the laces down. They end up, they're pretty stretchy. Uh, and it's a thin lace. So again, I think that saves some weight on the shoe, but um, you know, for some people that may be an issue if they can't really you know, cinch it down really well. Uh, what else can I say about this shoe? <laughs> again, I, I would look and, and say durability. This is not gonna be something that's gonna last a whole heck of a long time. But if you're looking for that, that go fast shoe, I would highly recommend giving this one a shot. 
I really like the ride. Um, I did put it to the test yesterday. So uh, knowing that I haven't had a lot of time in the shoe and I needed to get this review in, um, I, I said, okay, are there any Strava uh, KOM segments that I can go you know, try to get with this shoe? Uh, something pretty short. So uh, there's a KOM uh, or what they call a King of the Mountain or course record on Strava. Uh, one that I've been eyeing for a while. Didn't think I could quite get there. Um, I think I was number seven on the list going in and uh, it moved up the rank to number two. And uh, again, on that really hard segment that I ran, this shoe felt awesome. So overall, this gets a, a very good review for me. I would highly recommend getting into a store uh, or going online, uh, giving this one a shot. Remember, VIPs get 90 days to test run their shoes. If you don't like it for any reason or if it's not the perfect fit for you, uh, bring it on back and we'll get you something uh, else that works better for you. And remember, if that you're shopping online in VIP, you get free shipping. So uh, again, highest recommendation for me. This is a really, really good shoe. Uh, give, it, give it a shot. We'll see you on the road.